Although the Bahamar project has seen its fair share of trouble in the past, this time around they say things will be different. Davis assured the project does have the capital and the resources to get the project completed and opened. He said deadlines will be met and new hires are coming soon. A lot of energy out on Bay Street this morning as all of the Junkanoo groups bring the feathers, the gems, the glitter, and of course their A-game all in the hopes of taking the top spot. More than 98% of BPL customers have had their electricity restored, but the company is still coming under heavy fire about the pace of restoration. And now many are questioning how the company will compensate its customers. The Progressive Liberal Party has decided to postpone its national convention. Party Chairman Bradley Roberts confirmed today the decision was made not to have the convention next month because of the devastation caused by Hurricane Matthew. Dana Smith joins us in studio now with the story. That's right, Christina. Shawnee Miller won the country's first Olympic medal at the 2016 Summer Olympics, and it was a gold. Miller dove across the finish line in a dramatic finish to the women's 400-meter final, edging out the United States for the top spot on the Olympic podium. Opposition leader Dr. Hubert Minnis today calling for the resignation of Agriculture Minister V. Alfred Gray over his decision to give the go-ahead to continue discussions on a $2.1 billion China-Bahamas Agriculture and Fisheries Initiative. Now, although Gray indicated nothing is set in stone just yet, the proposal calls for the lease of 10,000 acres of Crown land to 100 companies jointly owned by Bahamian and Chinese entities. Calling on Gray to be removed from cabinet, Minnis said it's clear the country cannot have someone in such an important position who is so willing to sell out the Bahamian people at every turn. Welcome to Our News. I'm Dana Smith. Thanks for joining us. Copy news tonight. One man is in police custody and two others still at large after the trio robbed Atlantic Drive Super Value Grocery Store near Sandyport. Police say after accosting employees and shoppers at gunpoint and making off with cash, the man then led police on a high-speed chase through the streets of New Providence. Defense Force Marines got into a firefight with Dominican poachers while on routine patrol in the Great Bahama Bank, just north of Cuba, in the Key Lobos area. Nottish told reporters today, however, after a hot pursuit, the poachers managed to escape into Cuban waters. According to Labor Minister Shane Gibson, the terminations here at the one and only Ocean Club Resort came on the heels of complaints from guests about customer service. Now, Gibson said hotel executives have informed him that the terminated employees will be replaced, but union officials gathered outside the hotel entrance today say they're outraged. The opposition leader said it's clear this delusional PLP government is living in the land of make-believe, and she believes this S&P downgrade may be the first of a number of dominoes to fall. Dana Smith. Dana? The Speaker of the House of Assembly read the details of that letter in Parliament today, in which the seven FNM MPs announced they've lost confidence in Minnis as a leader. For his part, Minnis branded the group rebels who do not believe in democracy and said they're trying to circumvent the process because they didn't get their way. A man was found dead inside a car at the Montague fish ramp this morning. According to Assistant Commissioner of Police Stephen Dean, who was at the scene, the body was discovered with gunshot wounds. The victim was found slumped over inside of a black Mercedes Benz parked parallel to the shoreline. Police are now on the hunt for the gunman responsible. There will be no hurricane tax. That announcement was made by Prime Minister Perry Christie in the House of Assembly today. This as he also revealed for the first time the damage caused by monster storm Matthew is estimated to be around $600 million. Jasmine Brown was in Parliament today and filed this report. There may be another slight delay with the implementation of national health insurance Insurance, according to Health Minister Dr. Perry Gomez. This is Prime Minister Perry Christie suggests the government is more focused on hurricane relief efforts. NHI's first phase, primary care services, was originally slated to roll out in April, but was pushed back to January. And many have questioned if that deadline will be met. Although the free national movement has experienced its fair share of instability and even hatred, it would be a mistake for the PLP to focus on the difficulties affecting that party. According According to Prime Minister Perry Christie, he said in the upcoming New Year, his plan is to convince the electorate the PLB is a stable organization with the right strategies to improve the nation. The news tonight, following a fiery exchange with the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Port Charlotte MP Dr. Andre Rollins was thrown out of the House of Assembly last evening and suspended for the remainder of yesterday's sitting. He said he's not concerned by a threat for minutes to resign or face disciplinary action. He explained as far as he's concerned, he did nothing wrong. 
out. And he's a card-carrying member of the FNM, so he's not going anywhere. He said rather than a party unshaken, the FNM is scattered. And he questioned if Minnis realizes that he and his party are in a very precarious position. It's been nearly two weeks since Hurricane Matthew barreled through the Bahamas, leaving thousands of Bahamians without electricity. Residents living in Adelaide say the small southern New Providence community seems to have been forgotten. I'm Dana Smith. Thanks so much for joining us. Topping news tonight, Clico policyholders lined up in the hot sun today in hope of receiving the money they've been waiting years for after their insurance company went into liquidation. While some were collecting on their own policies, some were left to do the honor for deceased loved ones who didn't live to see this day. As the Bahamas faces the prospect of a fresh credit rating downgrade from Wall Street ratings agency Moody's, Chamber of Commerce Chairman and Gowan Bo is calling it a serious blow for the country. Two of the FNM convention had its highs and its lows. Kyle Joaquin joins me in studio with some of the highlights. Opposition leader Loretta Butler Turner's latest Senate picks are already drawing controversy, particularly that of talk show host Rodney Monker, who received his instruments of appointment today alongside DNA leader Branville McCartney, political newcomer Jude Knowles, and former Senator Monique Gomez. In a move that stunned many, Butler Turner announced Monker's appointment to the Senate last night. Monker, a former DNA candidate who joined the FNM in 2014, has attracted much controversy for what many have called his bizarre, unusual, and offensive commentary, either made to the press, on his talk show, or via social media. But asked about that today, Monker was dismissive. And what do you make of some of the controversy that's surrounding you being appointed to the Senate? Is there a controversy? There is. No one has told me, honestly. I've been so busy getting dressed, preparing, reading bills. What are Negroes saying? <laughs> They're saying that your comments sometimes are bizarre, even offensive. To them, I'm 60. I've been married for 37 years. I'm the father of three adult children and the grandfather of two adults. I've had one wife. And in 60 years, I haven't smoked dope yet. And when it comes to job stability, I've been consistent with my work. God save the Queen! Among Monker's unusual statements he questioned on social media back in 2013 are the women catching breast cancer from unhealthy males. And back in March, as the gender equality bills were passed in the House of Assembly, Monker said he's a xenophobe, and if his wife were to vote for the bills, he would dispossess her. You what is xenophobic? You said you were xenophobic. What that I means? What that means? That was your term. Are you still on the whole I, I have to ignore you know, that unless you explain that. What, Next. What, what about your stance on marital rape? Now, what about marital rape? I have been married for 37 years. My wife professed Jesus Christ, and I profess Jesus Christ. A decent married man cannot commit rape upon his decent married wife. Among Monker's latest comments, he's urging Bahamians not to vote in the upcoming general election, instead asking them to join him at a beach party on election day. Listen, there are thousands of Bahamians who are disappointed with these, I'm a senator now, right? Irresponsible politicians. And they want to go on the beach. And I'm the beach leader. But I'm marching to the Senate. And as I march to the Senate, perhaps somebody will convince me as to why I should say to my people, the Negro people, why we should not go to the beach. Butler Turner said in a statement last night, as I have said previously, some of the choices may strike some as surprising, but a major theme of these appointments is inclusion from a broad cross-section of Bahamians. She reiterated that today, noting, Those chosen provide quite a diversity of talent, experience, and viewpoints. I believe that Bahamians from various walks of life will see themselves reflected and represented in those of you that we've appointed. Reporting for our news, I'm Dana Smith.